Hello and welcome everybody, I am Adam the Silly Host and we are back at playing some Minecraft. Uh, I know that I haven't been uh, here for the past month or so, uh, believe it or not, I was on a really long vacation and it was really good. But now I am back and I am ready to play. So, uh, as you can see, some things have changed. Just to start off with the weekly update. As you can see, uh, even though I wanted to make this hill work as the base, uh, or rather as the foundation of my base, uh, yeah, I forgot, I still don't have good stuff. Uh, <laughs> so, as I wanted to make this hill work as the foundation of my base, uh, I figured out that I want to make this time a big uh, base, like a main house, like a thing with multiple levels and stuff and I still haven't really figured out uh, what and how will I do, but um, I am guess it's coming along nicely. Uh, do I have some place where I can put my dirt? <laughs> anyway. So that was one thing that uh, happened while uh, uh, in the past few days since I have arrived home. That yes, I grinded down this place with the help of this uh, full beacon. And how did I get this? Well, I did not. Uh, my friend who played a lot on the server from the past month, he got some things and then he uh, duped them because as it turns out in uh, 1.17.0 uh, you can dupe stuff with the anvil or something I don't know I haven't tried it uh, because my friend made so many things that uh, there is just an abundance of everything like iron beacons and everything and uh, uh, I think that uh, we will be having fun for <laughs> quite some time and I don't really mind it because uh, to be perfectly honest when you are playing on two servers uh, grinding for resources like it can be get really boring uh, at some point uh, but anyway as you can see i also have uh, like full fully enchanted tools and i have some more somewhere because yeah uh, as I said, he duped diamonds, then he duped netherite, and then came the uh, other stuff that helped him to get some villagers and the enchanted books and everything. I mean, while I have been away for a month, he was really busy. He played a lot. And while I, I, I still left this place with the villagers in disarray and still not really um, doing anything valuable for me he basically <laughs> built a fully functioning base and he works a lot and um, maybe the next week uh, I will show his base to you guys um, what else can I show you here um, basically what I have done here is to remove this hill and as you can see this was a rather tall hill at some places it, it was 10 blocks tall and even though I had the beacon and the netherite tools which helped a lot uh, I still had to go down to the skeleton spawner to uh, replenish the durability of my tools and uh, it was just a lot plus I did some mining and uh, that's why I have some uh, resources but oh here yeah so yeah, I mine deep slate because I really love the deep slate. I mean, as much as I love the blackstone uh, in my previous uh, game, now I am in love with the deep slate because that just looks amazing. Uh, I also uh, got a couple of foxes over there. Uh, yeah, well, they are just foxes because I need them so I went on a small adventure and that way there is a spruce forest so I got some foxes I got a couple of llamas that I might breed or not I don't know um, oh some things uh, I was wondering what color of paint should I use for the windows so 
The first idea was the clear glass and uh, that could work because that's uh, the best for visibility I guess. But then I was thinking that's why, that's light grey and that's grey. And then I was like, uh, yeah, why? That looks different, but no, this does not look uh, good uh, in this setting. Light gray, that's better, but what I think I will end up with the gray panes. Because uh, they fit in really nicely to this color palette and uh, I can still see through it. But, but you can see that there is something that there is a glass, so I guess that's better than the fully clear ones. Uh, and as I was thinking about how to continue to build, I also had a little bit of a problem, because I had the idea, what if I change these stone bricks to uh, black stone bricks? Pros and cons. The stone bricks are better, because they have a great contrast uh, compared to the deep slate. The black stone is better because because it's black stone and I still like it. Uh, in the end, I will probably go with the stone blocks still because um, yeah, they are just still better than that. But I think I will have to figure something out to make these columns look a little bit better. Uh, yeah, I mean they need some decoration maybe to put those chiseled places here down to I don't know I will have to figure out uh, what will happen here in the short-term future uh, I definitely would like to make uh, some sort of a villager hall probably underground I was thinking about continuing the mining uh, under this place, so I would have place for some automated farms, for some villager trading and uh, whatnot. And uh, so definitely there will be some more mining here and messing with the villagers. I mean, as you can see, I already separated a few that I will be able to take down and do some tests to figure out what would be the best way to them. Plus, I also would like to do something that I haven't done before, that's basically zombifying the villagers and then curing them. Of course, I will need uh, weakness potions that I have no idea how to make, but uh, there's Google for that. Golden a a apples are not really a problem anymore because my friend, uh, as I said, duped there are lots of things and I think we have golden apples for a thousand villagers or so. <laughs> Oops. Uh, but anyway, so I think that would be all for this place today. Um, I think that now I will go to my main gaming server, the LTT server, and show you around, because I have been a little more active there, or at least I made a little more impact. So, see you there in a second. Uh, as you can see, I have made some progress here. Well, uh, not really with my base, that still looks the same, but behind me, I have started to making the artificial island. Uh, it's not great so far, because I really have to make this part a little bit more natural, I guess, which is not easy, because I am not really good at that, but the island is, uh, well, uh, I think not, uh, not that bad. It started as a circle-ish like thing, but then I enlarged it in certain ways. And I will definitely have to work more on it. But what will this island be? In this island, I would like to try to make like a small castle. Like a, a little bit of rustic styled, uh, with maybe some animals, crops around it. Uh, maybe even build a little hill. Uh, and also, this island uh, is... Um, uh, nicely made so it's not hollow i actually spent quite some time to 
uh, fill the whole thing uh, with sand and just cover the the top of it with dirt. And it took me quite some time. I mean, putting down that much sand. I mean, I was thinking about making a sort of a machine that puts down sand, but I was like, yeah, figuring out the machine and moving it uh, one row to the direction every time I started a new. If it would be a bigger island, a much bigger one, then yes, definitely a machine would have been much better to do that. But uh, here, it was just okay to do it by hand. I mean, it took me like... Uh, uh, around two hours, maybe three if we count into uh, messing with the other stuff, planting here some resources and everything else. Uh, oh, I also fought uh, <clears throat> lots of times with the drowned and I got uh, three tridents. Uh, yeah, blackstone and, ba and basalt I brought a lot because I think I want to make a blackstone castle. Because on this server I still don't have the deep slate, which annoys me like a lot, but uh, I will figure out uh, something with blackstone. Uh, anyway, so let's move on, I say. I have still two things to show you. The first thing uh, will be my base. Uh, not base. I made a new machine because... Uh, I probably said it uh, last time, during my last weekly update, that uh, I have enlarged my number of uh, librarians, so I have many many more books, but I still need a few more. But these guys uh, actually consume lots and lots of paper that I can turn uh, into emeralds. And uh, it was just uh, lots of work to <clears throat> manually get all the sugar cane so what i did is actually let's get down here yeah i made some automated sugar farms which are quite long uh, because i made a miscalculation the length is 65 blocks of sugar cane and that's four times so yeah that can yield me quite some uh, if i am around this machine now i have to be around like uh, pretty uh, close to the middle of it in a sense because uh, sadly if I go uh, farther away then the minecarts ju just uh, despawn and the problem with that is that uh, they don't come back as you can see they disappeared so they don't work so whatever gets harvested at this point will just sit there and yeah, that's a really pro problem on the server that they despawn in the distance of what? That's like 70 blocks or so. So I have to be like this close to the whole thing. I mean, uh, that's not really a problem because sometimes I get, uh, sometimes many times I come down here to harvest all the crops still that I can sell the farmers again for emeralds. Mm, and I work uh, in the area too, but uh, still this will provide me uh, with lots and lots of uh, sugar cane, which grows so slow, annoying, but anyway, what can you do? <laughs> Nothing. I mean, at the, uh, making this uh, machine made me understand why some people make sugar cane farms that uh, yields uh, much much more because uh, it grows so slow so it just works to make uh, really big machines that really can uh, produce a lot but anyway um, I guess let's show you the last thing that I was working on uh, so we are back at my city and nothing changed here in the last month. Actually, nobody came here to claim a new plot. Uh, there was no activity whatsoever, not a single sale. So that's kind of sad, I guess, but eh, whatever. So this is the new place that I have built. And what is this? This place actually gives out free books. 
Fire Aspect one. I mean, yeah, the books are free, but they are not really good books. So uh, it's pretty much the only reason I made this is because I had to realize that I had like uh, four double chests of uh, books that are not really good and I just put everything uh, into here so if somebody comes here they can b browse through them and if they, they don't like them they can even put them back into that hopper that leads them here I was thinking about uh, making a water elevator to send them back there, but then I was like, eh, too complicated. I mean, ch uh, chances of somebody actually coming here and taking a book is pretty low and even lower that they would give back something. I mean, to be honest, if someone would just take all the books and not even use them, just store them in their base, whatever they can do with it, I, I don't care, it's free books they can do whatever they want with it but anyway so i try to decorate the surrounding area nicely plus here i actually made a, a dirt road that uh, i really wanted to do something something that uh, is um, a little different for a city like you don't really see dirt roads uh, in the middle of cities but i wanted to do this some uh rustic countryside feeling a bit maybe i mean i even planted a, a melon there <laughs> i put down flowers even some dark oak saplings here and there and uh, this is just a nice road here that uh, leads pretty much nowhere at the moment um, i was thinking about that maybe i should make the park here that i wanted to do I might be able to make the flower shop maybe on this side. I am not really sure about that because I want to make the park symmetric and uh, it should lead uh, up to the town hall that I still plan on doing uh, on this corner. I mean, it should be a big building, uh, but I still haven't decided on uh, what the building materials should be because i was thinking about uh, quartz but then i realized that yeah i don't want to make an all white building because um, yeah <laughs> i made some of those already so i will have to figure out what materials uh, i could use for that without doing much more repetitions because i don't want to use the same color schemes too many times i mean uh, yeah you can see uh, orange walls surrounded with dark things <laughs> i already did that two times and even uh, at my base i did uh, i think at uh, once but i really like how that looks like but i i have this need you know to try more things to, tr to try new things um so we shall see but uh, anyway so uh, let's make a li uh, little summary on what can you see here in the future uh, first of all uh, if you follow me on twitch then i will try to stream every morning well morning in central european time sometime i cannot give you an exact uh, time because it depends on a great number of things when i wake up do i have to do something other than playing <laughs> sometimes i have to do sadly so uh, that is that but anyway so the main things uh, on this server i want to continue to work on that little island to make there a little castle with surrounding like small houses like like a really small rustic village with like a couple of houses maybe a couple of animals so like a uh, if you know that uh, small island in france uh, mont saint michel michel i don't know it's a beautiful little island with a castle on top of it with houses around it i would like to do something like that in a real small scale i mean really small scale just like one 
tower as a castle and a couple of really small few block houses uh, that would be pretty much all uh, here in the city as you can see there are still a few things to do behind me uh, I would like to do the park behind me I would definitely like to do the flower shop then can come the town hall oh and also what I forgot I just realized that uh, before I went on vacation I was planning to continue the mine down there yeah I still haven't do that I mean I can actually show you guys Ooh. yeah I mean this is where I left it I made this one branch then I stopped working on it because then came the vacation I would like to make uh, similar things on uh, all ways um, and then something around here I don't know because I, I really want it to feel like a mine and not uh, this huge open area so I would probably close down these big open areas and maybe I will make some uh, bigger rooms uh, some places where there could be um, I don't know what to be honest because I can't really make a forge here down there because I already have a forge up there but uh, well we shall see so this would be another project uh, to work on in the foreseeable future so as you can see I have uh, lots and lots of things to do and uh, with a little luck I will have time to do something every day uh, maybe something little maybe something more and uh, some of it I will definitely stream preferably the parts that I think that could be a little bit more interesting but uh, we shall see uh, that's my back ah, that's right so uh, anyway um, as you can see I have made some progress but uh, it's still not great because I still haven't been uh, home for a fu uh, full week but uh, well hopefully that in the near future we can do much better but anyway Thank you for watching if you enjoyed this uh, video then please like share subscribe follow me on twitch because i try to stream every morning uh, follow me on twitter for screenshots anyway as always have a wonderful day everybody goodbye